Push-ups are one of the best workouts if you wish to increase the strength of your arm and upper back muscles. Besides that, they also add to your core advancement. Not to mention, pull-ups are an incredibly practical exercise too. Given that you can successfully work your back muscles with simply a bar and making use of your body weight. This exercise does come with a cost. Pull-ups are usually one of the most challenging workouts to master. In this video, we will be walking you through an exercise routine that will get you from 0 to 10 pull-ups in a week. This workout routine consists of exercises like dead hang, inverted row, and many more, which will be discussed even more next, so stay tuned. Do each workout two times for the whole week. 1. Dead hang. The dead hang is an exercise that requires you to merely hang from a pull-up bar like a dead weight. There are no repetitions, no pushes or pulls, simply a plain, old, basic hang. The dead hang works best for strengthens the muscle groups such as the upper back, shoulders, core, lower arms, hand and wrist flexors. By working for these muscle groups, you can improve your capability to perform a pull-up. Sets, 4 sets duration, 15 to 30 seconds. 2. Inverted row. Pull-ups require you to have a strong back and the inverted row is one of the best exercises for this. When it comes to building a strong back, the inverted row is arguably one of the best exercises lifters can do. This dynamic back building exercise holds a ton of benefits for both beginners and experienced lifters. In fact, every level lifter can benefit with using more inverted rows and their variations in training. Sets, 4 reps, 5 to 8. 3. Side Plank. The side plank is one of the easiest ways to work the two layers of muscle along the sides of your core, known as your obliques. These muscles help you rotate and bend your trunk, and they also play a role in helping to protect your spine. Side planks are great for strengthening your oblique abdominal muscles that don't get worked out during ab exercises. It's crucial to strengthen your abdominal muscles to prevent yourself from swinging when you hang from a bar. Sets, 4 duration, 15 to 60 seconds. 4. Dumbbell Hammer Curl. The hammer curl is a simple variation of the biceps curl that helps to target additional muscles in the upper and lower arm for greater definition and increased strength. Many believe that this exercise can also help to increase wrist stability and improve your grip strength. All of these are essential when you want to pull heavier loads such as yourself, aka when you perform pull-ups. To boost the tension on the peak of your biceps, rotate your palms toward you at the top of the rep. Sets, 4 reps, 15. 5. Machine Lat Pull Down. A machine late pull down is a fantastic exercise to strengthen the latissimus dorsi muscle, the broadest muscle in your back, which promotes good postures and spinal stability. It involves a similar movement to the pull up, challenging your mid and upper back muscles, arms, and grip, but you have more control over how much you lift and can slow the tempo right down to help increase muscle size rapidly. It may be simple in theory, but it's crucial to perform it correctly to get the best possible results results sets 3 reps 12 the tr sets 3 reps 12 6 seated row machine this workout will improve your posture and protect your shoulders which is important in doing pull-ups this is a perfect all-around compound workout for developing the middle back also offering useful arm work the seated row helps to strengthen your back and forearms muscles sets 4 reps 12 7. Back Extension. Back extension exercise will enhance your ability to coordinate movement via your lower back. Performing the back extension exercise will increase your ability to coordinate movement through your lower back. Other improvements include a stronger back and a back that has more endurance. Overall, back extension exercise will improve your back posture and stabilization, which is important for the prevention of back injury when doing pull-ups. Sets, 4 reps, 10. What do you think about those exercises? Have you tried any of them? Comment your thoughts and answers below. Thanks for watching.